Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Quite often when I talk about Linux, I talk about the power that you have to control every aspect of your OS. And for a lot of people, when they think about changing things, the first thing that they think about is changing the look and feel of their OS to fit the style that they like. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And if you have not seen my original video on how to install VirtualBox and then install Linux Mint inside VirtualBox so that you could start learning how to use Linux and gradually making the move from Windows or Mac, then definitely check out that video. I'll leave it in the description below. Okay, so now when we talk about customizing the look of your OS, that is something that most people can already do in Windows. They'll download a theme pack, an icon pack, and obviously they could change their wallpapers. And in the Mac OS, you could do something similar, but you don't have as much control as you would in a Windows operating system. However, neither one of those will allow you the type of control that you have here in Linux. And today I'm going to be talking about some built-in methods on how you could change the theme of your operating system and also some other methods for people who really, really want to get in depth and make Linux the operating system of their dreams. So first and foremost, if you go to your menu, and then you go into your preferences and then system settings right here you will come up with your obviously your system settings and you would choose themes and here you're gonna have some really basic ways that you could change your operating system quickly change the way it looks not necessarily change the way it operates so this is all visual so I'm gonna open up another window so that you can see these changes in real time so the first thing you could change is your Windows borders and your Windows borders are things right here okay so these are Windows borders so the default of this is mint X so let me go ahead and change that let's go ahead and change it to high contracts and as you can see it changes almost instantaneously and that is a nice look it's a lot easier to see so the next thing is icons so this is the color of your folders and other icons. So let's go ahead and change that to something a little more bluish. Mid X, you go here. And sometimes it takes a second for this to change, but there you go. Very nice and clean. The next thing is controls. So these are things such as right here. These are the controls. So these are the color schemes that we have right now. So let's go ahead and choose a different color for the controls. Let's choose mid X purple. And if you go back, now it's purple. And also, when you highlight an icon, it's also this new color as well. So, nice color right there. And you can also change the color of your mouse pointer. So, I have it as DMZ white. Let me go ahead and change it to DMZ black. See if that changes. There you go. A little easier to see right there. And the final thing is your desktop. Okay. And your desktop is this portion right here so let's go ahead and change it to orange and it takes a second for it to change and there it is now it's orange and it'll also change this right here as well now there is one more thing that you could do with the desktop themes you could actually install brand new desktop themes so if you go here to available themes you will find a list of themes that are available to the Linux users and which are done by the community and right now I have it sorted by popularity and all you would do is once you find a theme that you like you could just click the checkbox and then just install and if you want to see more info on the theme you could click on more info and it'll go to their web page however I've already installed the most popular one which is void and once you install it, which takes a few seconds, you could go ahead and install the theme right here. You can use it right away. And so you could go ahead and apply the theme. And once again, it's only going to change the desktop portions. Okay. And also it's going to change your menu, the way your menu looks as well. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's apply this theme. And as you can see, it changed it right away. And let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's a really nice looking theme. It kind of looks like Mac OS in a lot of ways because it has a lot of curves and some of the 
shading on here. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. But as you can see, the windows, borders, icons, controls, uh, everything else is still the theme choices that you chose a little bit earlier. And some of the themes do allow you to uh, download different icon packs as well. However, for the ones that are here in the available themes, they're typically just to change your desktop. Okay, so that is the very basic way to change the look and feel of the theme that you have on your OS. Now, I'm going to show you some other ways that you could really, really fine tune your OS to really fit the style that you like. Now, I'm not going to go through all the details of this because it really does take a lot of time. And at the same time, as you play around with this, you will find a method that works the best for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you some websites that you can go to that will allow you to download different themes, different icon packs, and so forth. So the first one is gnomelook.org. Now, this is for people who run the GNOME desktop environment and Linux Mint runs on GNOME. And so what you do here is you look at all the different themes that you like and you just go ahead and download it. Now this is not going to be as simple as you uh, downloading and installing the theme right here. Okay, You're definitely going to have to do a little bit of work. So let me show you what would happen is if you download these themes where you would put the themes is in your themes folder. Now the first thing is you have to show your hidden files and there's two different theme folders. One of them is for just your user that you have logged in right now. So there's a dot themes folder. And so whenever you download a theme, as you could see here, um, you would actually unzip the folder and it would actually place everything that's related to this theme right here in this particular folder. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make this theme available for every single user on your OS then that would be under your file system it would be under user share and then it should be a theme folder right here as well if I could go down here and uh, this one you're definitely gonna have to there it is and these are available to every single user. Now, like I said, on this one, you're definitely going to have to have some uh, privileges to copy to this particular folder. Um, but, you know, you could do that by opening. Let me see. There is a way that you could actually open as root. There it is. And so when you open it up as that user, um, you will put in your password. Now you could actually unzip or copy folders to this particular uh, folder, which is, you know, it's protected so that people just can't copy anything in there. So if you download a theme and then you copy it here, then this theme will be available for every other user on your operating system. But right now, this new theme that I just installed is only available for this user that I'm logged in as right now. So that's the basically the simple way of how that works. So that is the first way that you can do that. And this is probably, in my opinion, the easiest way to do that. And this site is really, really great. There's so many things that they have available. And there's another one if you're using the KDE desktop environment, you can come here to the KDE.org and it's very similar, but this is meant to work with KDE. Now, if you really, really want to take it to another level and get a little bit more advanced, there are sites available that you could do that. One of it is Noob's Lab. And this right here, this is like the OS X theme. And wow, it looks so good. I mean, if you were to install this theme, your operating system would look exactly like a Mac. I would say like 95% like a Mac. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference just by looking at it. Now, this one is not very user-friendly by doing this method. You know, you're going to have to do such things as adding the PPA for this particular site. You're going to have to download the theme. You're going to have to download the uh, theme packs icons as well. However, if you do spend the time on this, you could really make your uh, Linux operating system just absolutely stunning, you know, and you could really go crazy on customization. And you could also go to the uh, DeviantArt site as well. There are 
some themes right here as well and there's other uh, utilities that you could download here as well yeah, obviously DeviantArt is a website for artists so this is a great place to come if you want to spend the time to do that okay but for me my personal preference I just use the simple theme changer and I download different themes um, I really don't spend a lot of time custom my, customizing my theme although I did do that at the beginning and if you are the type of person who really wants to get into changing your themes I would recommend coming to this site first and then later on you could also go to noobs lab as well I'm gonna go ahead and close this now there are some other things that you could do to you know quite simply change it up a little bit and one of the things that you could do is you could download two plugins okay um, and you could go right here to administration and you could go to your software manager and you could download these two plugins that will change your everyday use of your operating system in terms of how it looks okay so the first one that you want to download is called Compiz okay so you can look that up and there's going to be like two main uh, plugins that you can install one is actually Compiz itself okay and then the other one is your uh, Compiz settings manager okay and these tools are basically ways that you could really really fine-tune and change the way every aspect of your windows animations and everything else works and you could really really take a lot of time by messing with this and it'll make your experience just cool you know really cool um, like I said I don't really do that anymore but I'm used to so once you install it you will find something called compass uh, settings manager and as you can see here you could change pretty much every aspect of the way uh, your windows works uh, different animations of uh, your desktop uh, there's so many things here uh, your window decoration it's actually ridiculous how many things that you can do and like I said uh, if you want to spend the time on this you could get lost in how many ways that you could customize the way things look and operate on your uh, actual desktop so that's it's pretty uh, it's pretty fun and amazing but like I said it will take you a lot of time to get into the nitty-gritty of this and like I said there's so many ways that you can customize uh, your experience another way that you could change it is through a tool called Cairo Doc, and this is for people who like the Mac OS docs. So let me show you how that looks. So I've already installed it. So once you've installed it, it'll be here under administration, and there's Cairo Doc. So the thing is, the Cairo Doc is going to go at the bottom. So I'm going to change this arrangement and put it on top. So let me go ahead and change this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the top panel. Let's move it right there. And now as you can see, my panel's on top. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a Cairo doc. So let's go to administration. Now add Cairo doc. And bam, there you go very very nice you know and so um, it also um, allows you to customize this the way you want and it allows you to easily get to different workspaces as well so really nice I mean I like the way uh, this looks and it's pretty fast as well and so that is uh, basically it for this episode on customizing your theme and as I said a little bit earlier you know um, you could get it as basic as you want or as complex as you want it really really depends on how much time that you want to spend and so uh, if you had any thoughts on customizing the look of Linux be sure to leave it in the ideas and comments area below and as always if you got value out of this be sure to leave a like and also subscribe and don't forget I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, 
head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.